What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Nutty Foodie Fitness here. Today I am bringing you a what I eat in a week style video, but this time we are going for the breakfast edition, as you guys did seem to enjoy. It was more dinner or lunchy. Yeah, this video I'm just gonna show you different breakfasts that I have throughout the week. Sometimes I put in some effort and sometimes I put like zero. I'm just gonna go straight in. So you get a bowl. <laughs> Don't know why I'm telling you you get a bowl. But in my defense, you guys did say that you wanted me to be in the video and not just doing voiceovers of me being like, check that beautiful pasta salmon dish. I don't know, whatever. You wanted me to be in the actual video. So here I am for that. Smash that thumbs up button. Thank you so much. I know half of you didn't, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm starting off this video with a very kind of technical breakfast. It takes a lot of effort, so maybe if you get a pen and paper and then jot down the instructions because there is quite a few steps to this. So step one, get yourself a bowl. Don't start asking me what size bowl, okay? Just, just get yourself a bowl. Then you need basically some Weetabix. I literally think this is the most underrated breakfast in all of the land. Okay, you get yourself some Bix. Bix it up. You can have one, two, three, four, five. Whatever your heart desires, okay, homies? Whatever you're feeling. Um, and then, I have this one of two ways. I either directly put milk in, Oat milk. I know you vegans are proud. Yep. I'm one of those people that likes Weetabix really mushy. Let me know if you prefer it mushy or crunchy. But personally, I think Weetabix tastes incredible when it's just like mush. It's kind of like oats, but it's not. And then I get toffee drops just to make it extra sweet. Or there's actually three ways I do this. Either with milk plus toffee drops or impact vanilla whey shake. You know the, those new my protein ones which are literally already made. Just take it out the fridge, da -da -da, bish bash bosh and it's done. Or you get that and then you just like add in the toffee drops. <sighs> I'm doing this sensibly but usually I just, I just pour. And then you just add banana and, and that's literally it. And it's the most incredible thing ever. I promise it will get more technical after this breakfast. <laughs> Before I go on and proceed to showing you different breakfast ideas, I just wanted to jump on here and wish you all a belated Merry Christmas and also a pretty early Happy New Year. I also wanted to point out something that I believe to be equally as important. I had to just cover the fundamentals, the essentials in life. I know people go by the food groups of carbohydrates fats, protein, etc. But for me, the most important food group and one that is overlooked quite a lot, in my opinion, is peanut butter. So before taking any note of this video, make sure that you are fully equipped with all the peanut buttery breakfast ideas, which would include peanut butter on waffles, peanut butter and jam on bagels, peanut butter and jam on sandwiches, peanut butter and jam on toast, etc. Okay, now that that's covered, we'll get into this video. And I clearly forgot the most important thing of the fry up, hash browns. So yeah, we're doing a fry up. My face doesn't look great right now, so I'm just gonna, that's the outfit. In fact, let me make it look artistic and make the food appear on the plate. The famous bagel. Bagel. <laughs> Looks like a donut. Mushrooms. Some scrambled egg on one of the bagels. Beans always go in the ramekin, hash browns, and then sausages. These look better than last time, because last time the sausages looked a little funky. That's a scene and a half that. That looks beautiful. Breakfast of the gods. Can't actually see what's going on. Breakfast is officially served. Oh, apart from ketchup. Ketchup is essential. Just an English breakfast featuring my, my socks and my dry knees. Boy, that looks so beautiful. What do you prefer? Fry ups? Or like the whole like poached egg, salmon? I think it depends what mood you're in. In general, I'm gonna ask the people as well. Comment, 
fry up or brunch vibes? I'd say brunch vibes. Garlic mushrooms hit different. Mm. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put the camera down. Mm. <laughs> Who got that? Beans on bagel. Bagel. Beans on bagel. And then you use the rest of the bagel to just get every last bit out. Guys, what do you believe is superior? Beans on toast or beans on bagel? That is the question. Let me answer that question for you guys. Mm. Beans on bagel. All day, every day. This is like one of the most basic breakfasts, but I felt like I have to just include it because this is one of the standard kind of Steph breakfast. Got tea. If you're wondering why my eyes are so dark, leftover mascara from the day before, not ideal. But anyway, here we have a bagel, a bagel. I'm basically trying to put two eggs on one bagel. <laughs> it's not really working out. Usually I do this good, but I feel pressure. So basically we're just going in with a standard avo on bagel with chili. Mm. Another one with egg, which I will attempt to put on there and just some mayo because I literally think that mayo and hard boiled eggs just go so well together and then obviously like salt and pepper it up That's basically it but what I did want to just say is I'm about to try a cappuccino I just thought I had to vlog this experience or this moment because I'm about to try a cappuccino for the first time in my life and I'm 28 years old so and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. It just looks so cute. I've just always wanted to say like, oh, like, can we go for a coffee? But I can't. Can I go for a tea? It's just not, it doesn't have the same ring to it. Okay, guys, we're gonna make a sandwich of the gods. We need some mushroom, just a little amount. <laughs> Enough mushroom that it's nearly overflowing out of the bowl. Then we need some sausages, sausages. Vegan sausages, turkey sausages, any kind of sausage. He's <laughs> Right, then we need some bread. Any bread will do, white bread, seeded bread, or just regular ass bread, as Greg would say. Egg whites. Again, shout out to two chicks for hooking me up with literally all the egg whites. Okay, so plan of action is basically cook up the mushrooms, put salt and pepper, chili powder, and crush up a little bit of garlic to season the mushrooms, bish bash bosh. Oh, I haven't even explained. The bread is gonna be soaked in the egg whites. We're basically making another French toast sandwich with mushrooms and sausage. Let's do this. Homies, season the egg whites, okay? Season them. All the salt, all the pepper. Because this is basically going to make... You basically want to put enough, enough salt and pepper that you get kind of like a forearm workout. And then we're going to superset that with, with that. With that sort of motion. Okay, if you want to love life, Use one, if you don't use two, it's entirely up to you. Place that in there. Proper bathe it. Like, don't be afraid. It knows how to swim. Give it a flip over. There you go. I also like piling the, the bread on top of each other so that the egg basically like drips off into the other. Like it all stays. Right, so we've got the eggy bread. Got extra egg whites, extra gains. Okay guys, so this is just a hack. Like if you're a peasant and you don't have enough sausages, get your turkey sausages or whatever sausage, and then you wanna basically pierce. You don't need to be too uh, perfect, but just like kinda squish it down. You kinda get what I mean. And then you basically want to use one of these to get those little babies off. It's a bit fiddly. You get the gist. 
Sausages are in. Mushrooms are doing its their thing. You want to add basically thyme, basil, or oregano, or all of them. So we'll go with all of them. <laughs> Now we're going in with the French toast. And then inside, drizzle of sriracha or some ketchup. This is what they should be looking like. We want colour, we don't want it to look anemic, okay? And you basically flip it until, here's something I prepared earlier. Blue Peter style. So be a little bit patient. And then we plate. Let me show you the plating process. Sausages on top. And then, I think we're going with ketchup. Comment down below if you would, at this point, go in with the sriracha or go in with the ketchup. I think I'm gonna do ketchup. Look at that. Sandwich that on top. Yeah, I'm gonna do that way. No. Mm. I'm gonna do this way. That's more aesthetic, but to show it, it's harder. Do it this way. Yeah. So there you go, this is the sausage, garlic mushroom, French toast, breakfast sandwich. I'm gonna go in with a taste test immediately. I say taste test, but like, obviously I'm gonna eat the sandwich. But let me like, just tell you my verdict on this. Look at that. I'm going in, cheers. Mm. No, this is. This is silly now. This is good. Right, this is seriously good. Give this a go. Mm, mm, mm. That's legit. That's absolutely legit. Next to the breakfast French toast sandwich, you must accompany it with a little yogurt thing. Just to complete the breakfast dish, or meal, or whatever you want to call it, just because I've got the sweetest tooth on earth, I add in a little bit of couple toffee drops, two vanilla yogurt, this is the one, vanilla yogurt. You just wanna add some cinnamon to that too. Voila! And it's glorious. Let me just show you, in case you don't believe me. You gotta mix it up though and like, make it look unesthetic. Mmm! And there you go. This is literally how my morning's going. Don't know if this means it's going perfectly or I'm like living life on the edge. But yeah, we're doing, we're doing oats. Standard oats with, looks like we're doing banana. And peanut butter. No, my camera's not the wrong way around. The tub is upside down. And toffee drops and some cinnamon. I use oat milk in my oats. Put it in the microwave. For two minutes, so I'll do one first and then I'll do it again. Hey. Just one more minute in there. All right, homie. Balance you on some baklava. The key is for it to be a little bit too liquidy, which is perfect to add the salted caramel protein. So just one scoop, voila. 
And there you go, that's it. <laughs> I'm joking. We need essentials, like let's be honest. This whole film in this video with one hand is difficult. Yeah, so you basically just want to mix that up and it does actually fully mix, like it does not get clumpy. There is no bit. This is my absolute favorite, my protein flavor. So the salted caramel, the way. I'm gonna put my code and my links in the description. So I've literally got the sweetest too. That yeah, food. Let's mix that all up. I do as well add um, hemp seeds and chia seeds, but because I don't know where my tripod is right now, I'm just being a little bit lazy, so I am sorry. Forgive me. Then just get the banana. See, I'd present this cute if I had both hands. Presentation today is not okay. This is like the perfect spoon for it. Perfect amount. You almost want to just get like a sort of as if you're serving an ice cream. And that is it. Done. Peanut butter is literally just soaking in. Why are you so beautiful? The worst angle. Focus on me, I'm trying to outro. But I do hope that you have enjoyed this What I Eat In A Week breakfast edition. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Also, one thing I wanna say is if you are someone that doesn't like experiment a lot with oats, it's a crime. And I'd highly recommend you watching this video where I literally tried out all of my subscribers or my nighty nation I tried out your oatmeal combos so have a watch of that video because there was a lot of beautiful combinations I'm going to tuck into this breakfast <gasps> look at the peanut butter um, what I do by the way is I let the peanut butter on the spoon chill on top for a little bit so that it melts and then you know what I mean. Yeah, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you want a snack edition. So I'm thinking I can include, you know, like my mug cakes, my fruity yogurt concoctions, maybe the snacks that I also do eat because you know I love a snack. I mean, my cupboards are literally full of snacks. Um, although then it would just be the my protein video. I don't know, but just comment snack if you want that video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast. Stay naughty, my friends. Oh my god, be on Oh! Do you reckon they'll realise that I'm we wearing the makeup on from last night? No. <laughs> Such a tramp. Alright, okay. Ooh. Breakfast edition, as you guys did. Ooh! Uh. No. Welcome back to the channel, Nutty Foodie Fitness here. <laughs> I said that with me. It's like the simplest thing ever. Oh no, I was actually going to be sarcastic and I was going to say this takes a lot of effort. It's just a standard, um... Oh my god, I can't... Just one earring on, and not on that side, because I was taking a photo for Instagram and only that side was showing. <laughs> These are turkey sausages, <laughs> but feel free <laughs> to use... These are turkey sausages. These, these are turkey sausages. <laughs> Just hang in there. <laughs> these are turkey sausages, but feel free to use whichever sausage you want. <laughs> Peanut butter and jam. We're going for black cherry today. Doing this with one hand. <laughs> I'm telling you, homies, takes a skill. One that I have yet to perfect. So, if you're still watching this video, comment black cherry. <laughs> 